G'day mates, I hope you're having a ripper day. Today we're taking a look at this new pillow style mask from Fisher & Paykel, the Nova Micro. But before we do, old mate Uncle Nick goes bloody confused, I tell you what, feels like it was only yesterday when Fisher & Paykel broke the paradigm and they gave the CPAP community something we're not very used to, some innovation. They gave us this mask, the Han Solo, 10 years in the making with its revolutionary auto fit, auto lock headgear, no buckles, clips or Velcro. Just pull it on over your melon and bing, bang, boom. One touch, locks into place. Bloody unreal. I mean, you can't even buy the pillow version of the Solo in the US yet. You can only buy the nasal one, even though most of the websites mention the pillow version. So I guess I'm just trying to figure out what the game plan is here. What's the business strategy to brand new Fisher & Paykel pillow masks out there in the world, but unavailable in the US? The world's biggest market? What the bloody hell is going on? It's going straight over my head. Perhaps some of you hot shots with the NBAs, jump in the comments down below and fill in Uncle Nico about what is going on at Fisher & Paykel. Who the bloody hell knows? But anyway, today it's all about the Nova Micro. We'll take a close look at the mask. I'll share my insights, my feedback. I will compare it with the Solo, it's big brother, and also, old oh mate, the ResMed AirFit P10. I'm sure many of you watching now wear this mask. First released back in 2014, can you believe that? Coming up on its 10 year anniversary, would have to be the best selling pillow mask of all time, undoubtedly. And in my humble opinion, currently, currently, the pillow goat. All right, but can these two masks challenge the GOAT for the featherweight title? Let's find out. All right, so here it is. This is the Fit Pack, and it comes with the small, medium, and large micro pillows. Very small bag, very small mask. Fits in my mouth. Can you believe that? I'll show you in a moment. Actually, I'll show you right now. And here's the pillows. Now my wife does say I have a big mouth. Unfortunately, she has a very small mouth. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, so I probably should have given you a look at this mask before shoving it in my gob. However, here it is. So we have a small flexi tube that runs up to the soft micro pillows. This is the medium here. Also comes with the small and the large. And then we have a one size fits all headgear dual sided Velcro adjustments. And then on the back, we have elastic straps. So the back straps here, you can see are elastic. These side straps here, not elastic. There's the Velcro. Right, and that's pretty much it guys. Now I'm a big fan of simplicity in design. And this design is about as simple as it gets. Let me show you. So here is the pillow. It just peels off, all right? Just peels off. And then the head straps also just peel off. <laughs> and that's it. How good's that, hey? So very easy to take apart and clean. Now let's take a look at some of the specs. Now to date, this is Fisher & Paykel's smallest and lightest CPAP mask they've ever made. And it's a featherweight weighing in at only 34 grams, which is remarkable. Now by comparison, the P10 here, which is also extremely light, weighs 44 grams, an increase of 35%. And the Solo mask, 54 grams, an increase of 62%. So it's extremely lightweight. And the pillows 
are extremely small. Not much dead space here. And I wanna show you this chart, which is the dead space chart, essentially the volume inside the pillow. Here it is here. So we've got the Nova Micro Large, 18.2 mils. And then we have the Solo, which is above 30 mils. So a big difference in the dead space of the pillows. And the dead space is really important to understand because it affects the aerodynamics of the mask, how the air passes through the mask, the pressure. It affects everything from the exhalation vent flow, uh, the exhalation resistance as you're breathing out through the mask, noise, very important, and of course, apnea control. And I'm gonna piece it together for you now, starting with noise. Now this chart here is the sound levels of all three masks as recorded in their manuals. And we're gonna focus on the sound power level, starting with the ResMed P10 coming in at 21 decibels, which is extremely quiet. It's about as good as it gets. Then we have the Nova Micro, 21.4 decibels, very, very good. Now this is objective sound recording. I'm gonna talk about subjective sound in a moment. And then we have the FMP Solo, 31.5 decibels. Now, when it comes to pillow masks, that's quite noisy. And this is some of the feedback we've received from patients who use this mask, the Solo. And there's a few little hacks you can do, putting filter material over the vents and so on, which does reduce the noise. However, this is just stock standard noise levels right here. Now, what's interesting is both the Nova Micro and the Solo feature very similar exhalation vents, both with 29 circular holes. The exhalation vents are where the air escapes from. See the little holes here at the front? All CPAP masks have an exhalation port or an exhalation vent. Uh, 29 circular holes here. And then we've got smaller holes for the Nova Micro here at the front. However, because of the smaller dead space and those holes are significantly smaller, there's a lot more resistance to the airflow. So we get a reduction in the exhalation flow rate, the air moving through those holes. So we get reduced vent flow, we get reduced velocity, which is the speed, we get a reduction in the turbulence with inside this small dead space, and that's why we get the lower noise, all right? Pretty much the same exhalation port, a lot less noise in this one because lower vent flow. However, there are some consequences to this lower vent flow, and we'll talk about those a little bit later in the video. Now I quickly wanna show you this chart here, which is the exhaust flow rate, the amount of air moving through the little holes in the mask, liters per minute over the different pressures. Obviously, the higher the pressure goes, the more air is gonna pass through the exhaust vent. And the green dotted line here, the lowest one, is the Nova Micro, all right? So at 10 centimeters of pressure, the amount of air passing through the holes is around, what, 22 liters per minute compared with the Solo, which is the red line, up here near the 30 liters per minute. And then we have the P10, and this was a big surprise, much higher up here at the sort of 34 liters per minute. So there's a big difference here in the amount of air passing through the exhalation vents. And what's interesting, and some of you might've picked up on this, is there's a lot more air passing through the P10 exhalation vent, yet it's very quiet. How can that be? What's ResMed's secret sauce? Let's take a look at it now. Because I just said before, the reason that this mask is quieter than the Solo is because there's more airflow resistance, so less air velocity, less air shooting out the holes, less turbulence. But if the P10's got more than the Solo, how can it be so much quieter? Let's take a look at the secret sauce. And this is the reason why this mask has been so successful for so many years. I mean, you don't keep a mask around for 10 years unless it's a winner. I'll start by showing you the Solo. And next, the Nova Micro. And last of all, we have the Colonel's 11 Secret Herbs and Spices, the AirFit P10. And what we can see here is 
it's like a very fine nylon weave, sort of like a lattice structure where you have vertical and horizontal filaments passing over and under each other. And this forms hundreds of tiny little, you can see them here, I'll try and, you can see them? Holes. See all the little holes? Now because the holes are so small, there's a lot of resistance, but because there's so many of them, we get a lot of exhalation vent flow. All right, now the benefit of this design is, is a few things. A, it diffuses the air. Right, so you end up with sort of like a mist of air, a cloud of air, whereas with the holes, you end up with a jet stream of air. The air just rushes out straight through those holes, so it travels a further distance and can disturb your partner. Less likely to disturb your partner with this mesh style weave. All right. And because of the high vent flow, there's less CO2 rebreathing, more air circulation, more air passing out through the holes, less rebreathing of the CO2. The lower the vent rate, the higher the CO2 rebreathing. The downside is because the holes are so small, it's very easy for them to get blocked with dust and water vapor. So you need to make sure you're cleaning this vent on a regular basis with like an old toothbrush. Get in there, get all the dust out of those tiny holes. Now another minor consequence of the Nova Micro's smaller pillows is there's slightly more pressure drop at the mast because of the added resistance. And this chart shows it here. So this orange line here, this is the Nova Micro small cushion. Then we've got the median cushion and the large cushion. And below that we have the AirFit P10. All right, but you can see here at these higher flow rates, there's a bit of a difference here, isn't there? It's about a one centimetre pressure drop. So let's just say you're running your CPAP on 18 centimetres. If you're wearing this mask, you'll lose a centimetre due to the resistance, due to the small dead space. Whereas with the P10, you might only lose half a centimetre. The machines don't know what the pressure is at the mask. They try to calculate it, guesstimate it, but the sensor is at the machine end, the flow rate sensor, the pressure sensor, and so on. All right, so that's why you have the different mask settings. So when you set your machine to pillow, what it does is it goes, uh-oh, we're gonna get a pressure drop at the mask. We need to whoop, speed up that blower, create faster flow, to account for that increase in resistance. Don't worry about it. Getting too technical on you, all right? It's not a big deal, but if you're using a P10 at those upper pressure ranges and you switch to the Nova Micro, you might notice three things. One, the reduction in pressure. Two, the reduction in the airflow velocity. You can really feel like a bit of a drop in the airspeed. And three, a reduction in noise. Now, one thing I did notice during testing was I found it easier to complete my exhalation phase using the Nova Micro versus the P10. I found it easy to breathe out, put it that way, and I'll show you it here on Sleep HQ. So over here is my breathing with the P10, and what you can see is breathing in here, 53, breathing out, 38, breathing in, 46, breathing out, 36. Right, so I feel a bit rushed with the P10, whereas with the Nova Micro, you can see there's like a slower exhalation phase. So breathing in, 53, breathing out, get through the full exhalation down to 43, breathing in, a bit slower, 52, breathing out, 43. And it was very noticeable. I just felt I could complete that exhalation phase. I didn't feel rushed. I didn't feel like I was hyperventilating. And this is quite common with CPAP masks. You know, you feel like you can't quite get to the end of the exhalation phase before the air is just rushing in again. So it was very easy to exhale with this mask. And this was something else another YouTuber noticed as well. All right, so there's just one more thing. And I think that probably wraps it up. Now, when it comes to the mask seal, both masks seal really well across the entire pressure range, even at high pressures, excellent seal. I found that I was fiddling around maybe a little bit more 
with the Nova Micro and perhaps it's a little bit tougher on the nostrils versus the P10. When you look at the P10 here with the pillow design, see how there's a lot of movement here. Like these little things move around. They also move in and out. Right, so they're very sort of flexible. With the, come on, focus for me, baby. There we go. With the Nova Micro, you know, there's not a lot of flexibility there. You can sort of flex left and right a bit, but they're sort of static. So they do have to be sort of wedged into the nostril. So in summary, there's a lot to like about the new FMP Nova Micro. It's a featherweight, simplistic design that's easy to clean, comfortable to wear, and extremely quiet. But is it better than the GOAT? The Airfit P10, hmm. It is smaller, it is lighter, it is quieter, it is easier to breathe with. I don't know. You're gonna have to try it out and decide for yourself. And lucky for you, FMP has the sure fit guarantee, so you can't go wrong. Now, if you wanna pick yourself up a new Nova Micro and save a few buckaroos in the process, I'll put some information, some discount codes in the description down below and pin a comment for you. I do have some channel sponsors now. I've got AirVOL over in Canada, CPAP Direct here in Australia, and sleeplay.com over in the US. Now, this mask isn't available in the US just yet, but if you're a Sleep HQ Pro member, head on over to the Sleep HQ Pro community, click the link above, and I'll take care of you personally. Until next time, sleep well, look after you mates. Have a great day, cheers.